Tesla was one of the best performing stocks of last year. It saw huge growth, growing over an incredible 700%. Now, 2021 has certainly been a different picture for Tesla. From its peak, it's now down over 36%. And since then, it's been in very choppy waters. The big news this month is that Kathy Wood, well known for being one of Tesla's biggest bulls, has recently been selling Tesla stock. And this is big news because she is known for her Tesla price target of $3,000 by 2025. And that's up another 300% from today's price. So the big question is, if Kathy Wood is so confident that the Tesla price is going to $3,000, why has she been selling? Well, that is the topic of this video. So in this video, we are going to be looking at what exactly has happened, how much Tesla stock has Kathy Wood been selling? We're going to try to answer the question, why? Is Tesla overvalued? We'll cover a couple of Tesla's big debates. We'll look at Tesla's PE ratio debate. The Tesla is not just a car company debate. We'll see, was Kathy Wood just taking profits? All to find out is Tesla overvalued or undervalued. And for each one, we'll be looking for either green flags saying everything is okay, or red flags showing that there is a warning. As always, if you do find anything useful in the video, be sure to drop a like, as that's always very much appreciated. Okay, so let's begin with what exactly has happened. How much Tesla stock has Kathy Wood been selling? Let's take a look. So this website shows all the buying and selling being done by ARK Invest. And this is for all the different ETFs. Now, so we're looking at April and it started on April the 14th. So you can see they sold 185,000 shares of Tesla. And this works out to be around $130 million worth. Then a couple of days later on April the 16th, she sold another 86,000 shares, which works out to be about $60 million. And now again, very recently, she's just done another sell order for another 163,000 shares, working out to around $115 million worth. So the purpose of this video is try to understand why has she been selling? So let's start with the P-E ratio debate. So this is chart of Tesla's P.E. ratio going back to 2012. And as of right now, Tesla's P.E. is 1,181. And just to give some perspective, the average in the S&P 500 right now is 42. So you can see this is astronomically high. Now, because Tesla wasn't profitable for so many years, this is why the ratio was zero. Now, Tesla's only just started to break a profit and it's already above the 1,000 mark. However, this is the P.E. ratio of Amazon.com and you'll see there was a time when Amazon's P.E. went above 3,000 and in 2013, it also hit the 1,000 mark. So this says to me that the P.E. ratio is not valid because these young, innovative tech companies can show really high P.E. ratios, but go on to be some of the most successful companies in the world. So for me, the P.E. ratio is not valid. Next up, let's do some comparisons. So draw up a chart and we're going to be looking at the revenue for 2020 for some of the big car companies, Toyota, Honda. We've also got one of the largest battery companies, Panasonic and also Tesla. So 2020 is good because it's the last full year's worth of data. So the most relevant year we have. So for revenue, Toyota brought in 275 billion. Honda, 137 billion. Ford, 127 billion. Panasonic, 70 billion. And Tesla, 31 billion. So this basically just shows that these other companies are making a lot more money right now. Next up, we have profit. So same companies, but this time, how much profit did they make? Toyota, 19 billion. Honda, 4 billion. Panasonic, 0.8. Tesla, 0 
and it was Ford that had a bit of a bad year, negative 1 billion. So again, the clear winner here is the largest car company in the world, which is Toyota. And as of today, Tesla's profits are looking pretty slim. And then finally, we've got market cap. So this shows the current value of the business. Tesla, 710 billion. Toyota, 220. Honda, 53. Ford, 48. And Panasonic, 30. And this is one of the biggest issues that investors have with Tesla right now. The fact it went up over 700% last year is giving it a huge market cap. In fact, I've even added some more companies. So I've added the world's largest solar company. We've got a battery company. We've got the Chinese BYD, as well as the biggest car companies. And it is a fact that you can add all of these companies together and it still doesn't quite make up the current market cap of Tesla. So for me, this does show a red flag. The next big debate going on right now is that Tesla is not just a car company. It actually does many other things. So the argument is that Tesla has Tesla cars, but also Tesla solar, Tesla batteries, Tesla insurance, Tesla software, and it's a little bit like an ETF. You're getting multiple companies when you buy into Tesla. So I am a huge fan of Dragon's Den and Shark Tank, having seen every single episode over the last 10 years. It's where entrepreneurs come in and they pitch their business to some highly successful entrepreneurs, all in the aim to try and get investment in their company. Now, the common theme which I see again and again is this. When the company owner begins his big pitch on how their company is the next big thing and it's going to change the world, the sharks always have the same qualifying question, which cuts straight to the point. How many sales have you actually made? You see, investing is all about risk. Now, if the company's made loads of sales in all the different categories, then the risk to the investor comes right down and it becomes easy to invest. Now, if the company's making no sales, if it's all this is what we're going to do, or it's pre-revenue, then it puts all the risk onto the investor. So the big qualifying question is then, how many sales is Tesla making in all the other categories? Let's take a look. So this is a chart of Tesla's revenue broken down by business division. And this goes back to 2012 all the way up to 2020. And I always like to look at the most recent data as I think this is most relevant. Now the blue is all the revenue generated from car related sales. The orange is sales coming from the energy division and the yellow is everything else. So as you can see, as of right now, 95% of all the revenue is coming from car related sales. And only this top bit is coming from everything else. So as of right now, I think it's fair to say that Tesla is a car company, as all the other divisions are based on future promises. Okay, so was Kathy Wood just taking profits? So this is a Tesla chart going back to May of last year, and it includes the stellar 2020 year that Tesla had when it went up over 700%, all the way up to its peak. And this blue line is just the 200 day moving average. Now, one of the best pieces of investing advice is buy low, sell high. And if we take it all the way back, as the company began to get traction and it was setting all time highs, the best time to take profits would be something like this. Now, obviously you can't time the absolute top, but anywhere here would have been a great time to take profits. It obviously had a really big pullback and took a month or so to get back to its original high. But then again, once it started setting new highs, a great time to take profit any time here, taking profits would have made a lot of sense. It traded sideways, again, another vertical jump. So taking profits anywhere here would make a lot of sense. Another big sideways movement, another vertical jump. So again, taking profits here, taking profits here. This to me makes a lot of sense. However, 
This is now the same chart, but moved a little bit further along. And this is what has happened in 2021 so far. Now, what doesn't make sense to me is that Tesla from its all time high is now down around 20%. So this would not be the time to take profits. When there are sharp drops, this is the time to be buying. So the argument that Kathy Wood is taking profits, the logic doesn't make sense. And this would be a red flag. And then finally, we have Elon Musk himself. Now, what you might not realize is that on May the 1st last year, he sent out a tweet saying Tesla stock price is too high, in my opinion. And let's just put this into context. Again, this is the Tesla boom of 2020. So Tesla began to get traction and it was really taking off. We had this big drop and then pullback and Elon's tweet went out right about here on May the 1st. Now, the problem is this is when the stock price was $141. Now, let's just say that Elon Musk was wrong and that the stock price wasn't too high, but actually fair value. And let's say Tesla had an amazing year and the stock price doubled. This would only give $282. And the problem is the stock price right now is $746. So again, to me, this is a red flag. So this video was all about trying to understand why Kathy Wood has been selling Tesla. And after crunching this data, I am personally not surprised to see Kathy Wood selling Tesla stock. When we looked at the valuation today, Tesla was still higher than eight large corporations. And this included car, solar, and battery companies. And for Tesla to be known as multiple companies, I think it does need to start selling significant sales in these other categories. And we even had Elon Musk saying the Tesla price was too high in May last year. And this was when the Tesla price was $141. So for me, this all does make sense why Kathy Wood has been selling Tesla stock. And here's the thing. I think I can sum up the problem in one sentence. The problem is that Tesla went up over 700% last year. 700% is not normal for a company this size. So this likely means that a lot of the future gains have already been priced in. So what is an investor to do? Is this the time to be selling Tesla stock? Well, ultimately that decision is up to you. However, I always remember something Warren Buffett said. He said he did the numbers and worked out if he'd never sold any of his positions in his entire investing career, then he would be a lot richer than he is today. So just a bit of food for thought. So hope you found this useful. And if you think I've missed anything, feel free to post your comments below. I'm always happy to debate new information. I just ask to keep it respectful. Just to say then, if you did find anything useful in the video, be sure to drop a like, as that's always very much appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I invite you to click below and join us. I do have some great videos coming up that you don't want to miss. Okay, cheers guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.